Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. We are going to talk about all of the things that I've added into my collection as of this last month. I always do a monthly collected haul where I show you all the things that I've bought and I show you all the things that I have gotten into my life in PR, letting you know some initial thoughts about them, some things I'm already ready to review and some things I haven't tried yet so that you can see what's upcoming on my channel. And I am also in a little bit of a low buy season so I try to tell you some prices as well and compare it to some last hauls from like past years to let you know how I'm doing. Like, am I fulfilling my low buy dream life or not? And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I am uploading every day until Christmas right now, all about makeup, all about beauty, commentary, reviews, swatches, lots of color, all of those things. <laughs> buy not that this is like I'm spending too much money on makeup or I can't afford makeup or I can't afford rent or nothing like that it's more about me realizing that I want to spend my money on other things as well and I am actually fairly good at saving money and I want to be able to save even more money so I'm hoping to each month of this year to spend even less on makeup so that I can spend more money on other things like I don't know, traveling clothes, expensive dog toys, or to save even more for an upcoming house. Like I would like to buy a house in the future. I would like to buy a house, like I can afford a house now, but I would like to buy a house with as little mortgage as possible. That is what I'm saving up for. So with that being said, when we're at the end of the part of the things that I bought myself, I am gonna be giving you a number of how much money I spent during this, um, <laughs> this month on makeup and beauty. And I'm gonna be comparing that to what I spent in 20, 21. We'll say though, and this is just, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more when we get there. Uh, I didn't spend almost anything on, according to me, I mean, this is my job on makeup and beauty in 2021 in November and in December. You're going to see this even more in December. So I'm also going to be comparing this to numbers in 2020 because then I was spending more like I normally spent on my channel because in 2021, we were preparing to move here. We were moving from Sweden to Texas. We moved in between Christmas and New Year's. So in November and December, I deliberately bought as little as possible because I knew all the things that I bought I would have to bring to Texas so I was trying to bring in as little things as possible so for that reason I am also going to be comparing what I bought to the year before because that was more of a normal year for me and I'm only going to be doing that during November and December because the whole point of my low buy is that I want to spend my money on other things but I also don't want to stress myself with bringing in too many things to my collection and with taking all of this too seriously and if the low buy itself is gonna stress me, then I am out. That is where I'm at. So let's start with the things that I bought myself. Let's actually start with this one. I'm super excited because I bought the Sigma and Karen Harris favorite set. And I bought this from the Sigma website and I already own these things, but I love Karen. She's one of my best friends and I'm super excited. So it is the mini Corderosa palette. I do think that this set is still available. There is a blush brush in here, and this is the Tapered Cheek by Sigma in number F36. I know that Karen loves this for blush. And then there is, well, oh, this is so cute. Then there is one of my favorite brushes from Sigma, which is the E25. This is an amazing eyeshadow brush. And then there is the blush in Tiger Lily, which is a shimmering blush. And this is actually, out of all of the blushes that Sigma came out with, these single blushes. I already have this one, so I'm not going to be using this one. I am going to be giving this one away because I have it. But this is a, like, a peachy pink with a gold sheen. It is absolutely stunning. And I think that she did a really good job with curating this set. And I'm just super, super happy for her. I will, of course, leave this down below. But like I said... I did uh, buy this with my own money. I do get PR from Sigma, but this one I bought myself. The next thing that I bought is some... If you have been on my channel long enough to remember me talking about the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum, um, let a girl know down below, because I bought this, and this is from the Everybody Campaign, and they are donating... Uh, to a pro-choice uh, causes, this uh, for everybody. And I had actually used this serum up and I wanted to repurchase. So I decided to do that with this campaign so that they would donate the proceeds to this campaign. I will leave a link to that down below as well. I remember when I reviewed this serum, I was like, it's nothing special. That was a lie. I have used this serum up. 
I actually really love it and I have now repurchased it. This is the kind of serum that layers beautifully with everything. It is a ceramide serum and it is perfect when your skin is just a little tired, a little irritated, a little red. It just needs a little loving care. This is like a sweet pillow. It's like putting a robe around your skin and just patting it on the back and saying, it's all gonna be fine. You're all gonna feel better in a little bit. And that doesn't happen to me too often, but I will say when it does, this is perfection. This is also the serum that I layer when I use a cream or anything else that has more of an active, like a, a retinal cream or something like that. Or when I feel like my skin just needs a little extra love. I actually really love this one. I said I didn't love it first, but I was a liar because I repurchase that one and I am very excited about that because I do really love it. I also did buy and this was also in the Black Friday sale. I think I got 25% off on this one and this is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask and if you remember my Sephora haul where I did my VIB sale haul I did buy this one in the sample size and as you probably realize after me buying the big one so quickly afterwards is that I love this one it is really beautiful you use this one the instructions are easy you wash your hair with shampoo and then you apply this one instead of conditioner after you get out of the shower it is true Truly a beautiful product and I have been using it um, according to instructions you're supposed to use it three times what was the instructions use for the first four to six washes that's what it is and then every three to four washes as needed so right now I have used it for three washes in a row so I'm gonna use it again for a fourth wash but I will say my hair is really beautiful and it also worked pretty good on my extensions I've only used it once on my extensions but it did give some life back to them I definitely need to buy new extensions but I don't really feel like it right now because I haven't 100% decided what I'm gonna do with my own hair so it feels wasteful to buy <laughs> extensions when I'm not even not sure what I'm doing with my own hair but I'm really excited that I bought this one and that I got it on a really good uh, deal then I have told you about this before and I have used these on my channel I did also buy from the REM Beauties um, Black Friday sale I bought this highlighter I have used this one it is beautiful this is one of my favorite highlighter formulas as of late and this is the highlighter topper in Miss Saturn so I just bought this highlighter in a deeper color as well well, a deeper color, but a color that's more suited for my skin tone. This is, this is not what I'm wearing today. I don't know why I'm doing this, but this is a beautiful highlighter. And I have one from before, which is a very blinding highlight. And I just wanted one that was like not as cool toned and just fit like my skin tone just a little bit better. And this is a little bit more on the slightly more neutral, warmer side. And I like that. I also bought one of these in Cuddly. I've worn this lipstick once. I really love this one that I have in lingerie. It is still my favorite color, but I really like the formula. I love how it wears, so I decided to buy another color. I think this one was 40% off and the highlighter was 30% off. So this is the only two things that I bought from the site, but there are two things that I really enjoy from REM Beauty. And I had one color of each, so I decided to buy one color more of each. I'm very excited about my purchase. And then before the sale, of course, I did buy the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. So this is what she looks like. I know that people hate when you call beauty products she, but this is what it looks like. And I do like this palette, but I am a little bit underwhelmed by this palette. I don't love it the way I thought I was gonna love it. I can see myself reaching for this as a companion palette to other palettes, but I would like when a palette has this many shades because it does have 15 shades, I would like for the palette to offer me everything. At least have the option to use it on its own for my makeup preference. And I know there's other out there that feel totally different about this. I feel like this palette is lacking a little oomph. I feel like this palette is lacking a little bit of depth. I think you hear my dog in the background. And I feel like this palette, a couple of these shades are a little bit similar on the eyes. That is my opinion about this palette. I do a video about this palette where I'm doing two looks with this, I think. Am I doing two looks or am I doing one look? I'm not 100% sure. I will leave a link to it down below in case you want to see my full thoughts on it. I don't regret buying it because I'm happy I got to try it, but I don't see this becoming my favorite Natasha Denona palette. Let's put it like that. And that one I did not buy on a sale. I also bought, I made an Ulta order and I also made an Ulta order... I think yesterday I made an Ulta order as well. So that's gonna be in my 
yeah, that's gonna be my uh, December, uh, in my December haul. So this is what I bought on the Ulta. So this is why I ordered from Ulta during the Black Friday sale. This is the Revlon, uh, like, Max Power, I don't even know what it's called. Salon One Step Hair Dryer, Dryer and Voluminizer. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. I have still not tried it because I haven't had the time to properly, like, just get familiar with this product and I also I I have like I need to get my nails fixed tomorrow so they're in the worst shape possible so my hair gets stuck that's why I'm having a ponytail today my hair gets stuck underneath I'm getting my hair uh, my nails fixed tomorrow but I really am looking forward to trying this and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this can do with my hair because my own hair is I, I like my own hair but I usually use extensions but I will say I, I want to get into the habit of just liking my own hair the way it is. And I feel like this could be maybe a way to that. And I got it 50% off, which is really exciting. I also bought dry shampoo because that was also one of the deals. Buy two, pay for one. And this is the Batiste uh, dry shampoo, which is honestly my favorite brand of dry shampoo. I've tried so many. I feel like this inexpensive one is the best one. And lately I have been uh, using the volumizing one. So I decided to buy two of those. And then I also bought... One of them is still in the packaging and the other one I've actually used. Two of the lipsticks from Juvia's Place, they were 50% off. So I decided to get two colors that I've seen in store. And now you get 50% off, so I decided to do that. This one is in Soil, which is basically like just a little bit more of a muted red terracotta. Uh, and I'm excited to be using this one. And then it is Nile, which is a yellow toned brown i did use this one in my last new makeup releases in case you're interested in seeing how this one looks on the lips i do like the juvia space formula and i wanted to get the two colors from this collection that i thought were really cute the last thing that i have bought is this the last yes this is the last thing that i bought and that is that if you watch my video where i was like palettes i almost bought but then i didn't and i was talking in that video about how i almost bought some of you are gonna call this. How I almost bought the Thunder palette by Colored Rain. This one is so cool. Let me get rid of this one actually. Look at this, it has one of these packagings. Wait, there, there we go. Look at that. So I almost bought this one and in the video you could see me, you could see the cogwheel starting to go like, wait, this is probably on Black Friday sale, should I just get this one? So that is what I got because they had an amazing Black Friday deal and I bought three things actually from Color Drain that I have been wanting to get and I think I paid like under $30 for all three of these, which is absolutely like insanity. So this is what the palette looks like. Let me get rid of this plastic one. And this one is a blue gray palette and I don't love grays uh, but I am still excited about trying this palette I'm excited about the blues I, I I don't know how I feel about the grays but maybe in combination I don't know um, I haven't tried it yet I have no plans of like doing a dedicated review or anything like this I'm gonna be throwing it in a get rid with me or a reel or something but I am looking forward to be trying it and since they had such an amazing Black Friday deal I also decided to get the Secret Garden palette because this is also a palette that I almost bought throughout this year this is an all matte palette that is warm toned and now that I was able to get like, like I'm telling you it was an amazing amazing deal and since I was able to get this one I feel the same way I am excited about these colors especially like I, I don't know about this one as much, the cool tone green, but the other ones I'm very excited about, especially like these four here. They are the ones that make me very excited. And a little small six pan palette all matte seems like something I would enjoy traveling with a lot. So I am excited about that. And I also got, because they have an orange lipstick that came out. Well, they have several orange lipsticks, but this is the one that I decided to get. And this is from their B collection. Look at how pretty this one is. This one is in Honey I'm Home and it is a liquid lipstick in an orange color. So I, if you didn't know, I love orange lips. So these are the three things that I got from Colored uh, Rain's website and I'm super excited to be trying out the formula again. I used to be the biggest fan of their uh, formula when they had those 
pigment single shadows with the pigments and then they released a juicy boost co like collection like palette and I didn't like that at all they had done some kind of a change with the formula that I didn't appreciate but I have heard that they have since then changed the formula again to something amazing so I am excited about trying out the formula again I will report back to you somehow how I feel about these but I'm not going to be doing a dedicated video on these because I don't have time but I am excited um, that I bought them so yeah, those were my Black Friday uh, deals. Let's get into the things that I got sent to me as PR. If I have swatches, I will pop them off. If you don't see any swatches, it's because I didn't do any dedicated swatches. And per usual, I will link everything down below together with if I have a reel or tutorial or a review or swatches or anything like that. So check the description box if you're interested in any of these things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the Death Valley palette, which is the collaboration between CC Color and Sarah Jo. So I got sent this as PR and I have done a reel with this one, but I'm not 100% sure that the reel is live yet or not. But if the uh, reel is live, I will put it down below. But this is a really pretty neutral but still kind of a bright warm palette i enjoy that it goes from black to white and a couple of different shades in here i've only used it once so i cannot give you like a proper review on this one but so far i enjoyed the look that i did and i will link where you can find this down below another palette that i've only used once and this is the glaminatrix glamorous palette this is what that one looks like i do have a real on this one too this is the palette that i wore in my last new makeup releases and i don't think or i don't know if the reel is live i'll put it down below same with the other one i'm not 100 percent sure when this video is going up either hashtag pre-filming for vlogmas 2022 but it is a really beautiful palette per usual glaminatrix cosmetics i was really impressed with how blendable and pigmented the mattes were i thought that was really fun to work with then we have the two palettes from ace beauté these palettes i have done a dedicated video on ace beauté is one of my favorite formulas i think they make amazing eyeshadows and this is the envy palette and i'm just super excited to see them come out with slightly smaller palettes as well someone told me that they did do palettes in this format i just don't think that i own anything that's like this big from them i don't know own everything that they've ever released really love the formula so this is what the envy one looks like and then we have the aura one which is like the purple with the twist palette really enjoy this color scheme and like i said if you want to see swatches if you want to see looks that video is already live on my channel i will leave a link to that down below Ooh, more color pop i'm gonna take color pop in a separate segment because boy do i have a lot i do have the oh my god the amount of times that you corrected me because i said angels of illumination yeah it's angles <laughs> it's angles of illumination yeah thank you very much so yeah this palette is from bella beauté bar this is the number three this is an all shimmer palette i've only used this palette once but as you can see i've swatched a couple of these shadows i will say i was very impressed with how this one swatches i, I am very impressed uh, by this part. I am I'm impressed by how because I wore this one the pinky one that one I wore in the look I think that, that one is coming so yeah that one is coming next week where I'm using this palette and another palette as well together very impressed with this palette so far I honestly think that this is a really cool one if you want an all shimmer palette which is not normally my style but yeah fairly impressed actually with that one I feel like Bella Beauté bar they're, they're really on to something oh and I have the news from Unearthly Cosmetics here as well this is the last release from Unearthly Cosmetics of this year I do have a video where I am swatching and using these as well doing a look with each palette this is the Death, Dead of Night look at how beautiful this one is it's so cool I can't wait to wear this one again it's so pretty really really love Unearthly Cosmetics it's one of my favorite indie brands I think they are still closing their web shop because they were catching up on orders because they have gotten quite a lot of orders and they're catching up but as soon as they open I will let you know if you were looking to buy something from Unearthly Cosmetics because right now the shop is currently closed I think it's very responsible uh, for an indie brand to be like you know what I need to catch up on orders and just like close the shop for a little bit and catch up so i will let you know as soon as i know if they open or not if they already open as this video is going live i'll put that in the description box so check the description box and this is the grind palette you know this is my kind of color story i mean you can see what i'm wearing today i just love a really bright and warm color story like this i think it's so beautiful love the look that i did with this palette they also released new shades in the satin liquid lipsticks i think there are seven shades right or is this eight shades no seven shades Sh seven shades and i bought a couple of the liquid lipsticks myself oh i forgot to put that in i need to put that in and also put that into 
because I bought those myself. I need to put those in the <laughs> end uh, cost that I spent. So these are the liquid lipsticks from Anatole Cosmetics. This is the satin formula and in the same video, in the same for, uh, video where I'm swatching these palettes and using them, I'm also swatching those lipsticks in case you're interested. We'll say the satin liquid lipstick formula from Earthly Cosmetics is really beautiful. So these are the lipsticks that I bought. These are the matte liquid lipsticks. I bought three of the new shades that came out. This is a formula that fully dries down. If you like that kind of a formula, you will probably enjoy this one. This satin formula doesn't 100% dry down and this is not transfer proof. This is transfer proof, just so you know the difference between the formulas. I really did enjoy this one as well. I think I prefer the satin formula though, because I don't mind if something transfers. Like it, that's not a problem or a concern for me, but I wanted to let you know that I have these as well. I'm gonna add this to the cost when we talk about the cost, because I still haven't, we'll take that at the end. We'll take that at the end. And then I have the, this one I'm gonna be using. Oh, I have a box here on the, there's been a lot of PR going on and uh, I think a lot of brands are just trying to get some stuff out before you know before the holiday season this is from Sugar Drizzle and this is the on top of the mountain or beneath the stars this is a highlighter palette let me get rid of this one I think I have showed you this in a palette but I haven't used it yet this is I think you can see yeah the different colors right yeah yeah, you can definitely see. So this is like a duochrome, multi-chrome highlighter palette. I heard a lot of people really enjoy this one. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to do a... I don't know exactly what I'm going to include, but I'm going to do a trying new makeup kind of a video. Because uh, I have a couple of things that I want to use, especially one thing that I have on the floor here that I'm going to get as well. This one looks really pretty. I'm excited to be trying it, so we're definitely going to get to that. They also sent me... Uh, oh, this is from Bella Beauté Bar. This is not from Sugar Drizzle. This is one of the, uh, like, gel multichrome shadows. Uh, this one is in uh, Rain Rainiera. It's probably a reference that I'm not getting. And then there is a Animoni. And this is a liquid shadow. These are pretty cool. I've had a couple of these from before. They're like multichrome liquid shadows. Very sparkly, very cool. This seems to be a pale gold to a green to a purpley blue very very cool okay let me actually get the package that i have on the floor so we can talk about that as well and then i have some colourpop and some skincare a lot of colourpop <laughs> So I have been getting some PR packages that I haven't been able to fully unpack, like this one from Kaleidos. I haven't been able to fully unpack them. Oh my god, why is my hair looking so weird? Is this better? <laughs> not, not really. Because uh, honestly, filming for Vlogmas basically means I filmed 20 videos in two weeks. That's a vlogmas for me. I filmed 20 videos in two weeks and I didn't really have time to dive into the new makeup. But I do have this one from Kaleidos, if I can open it. <gasps> so this is what it looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. There are the contour palettes here and the singles here. So I am very excited to be digging into these and I, these are metal, like you could kill a bitch with this. This is so heavy. This one is in, tan which is not going to be my color so this is going to be too dark for me this is the tan one i think i'm probably going to be like i don't know what shade this is deep also not going to be my color that is very deep that's very impressive actually how deep that is i'm really loving that and then we have the singles so i'm going to be keeping some of these this one is in dark again not my color so this one is in light may oh this is too peachy for me too peachy and too light for me. So I think that maybe, what do we have? Tan, that's not my skin color. Deep, that's not me either. Which is this one then? This is the medium one. Yeah, I think that this is going to be better for me, right? So this is the medium one. This is probably the one that I am going to be keeping. And I am excited to see how these products are. And I am very excited to see... Uh, it's, it's contour products making a comeback. Not that they disappeared, like people were still contouring, but it wasn't as hyped of a, as hyped of a thing within like social media for a bit. And I feel like it's having a little bit of a renaissance and I'm just like, I can be, I can be about this. Let's do some contouring. I also got these that I haven't really unpacked. These are by Hard Candy. These were basically things that they sent me for Halloween. I still want to be trying. These have three pressed glitters in them though. I don't know about that but it looks interesting these were just kits that they did for halloween i didn't get around because again this was this was crazy 
Oh, this is the neutral one. You know what? That looks pretty cool for neutral palette. And if, I mean, the press glitter is sure, but if you wanted to add some sparkles to your like neutral look, this could be it because it has a white, a black, and like a gunmetal metallic there as well. Don't hate how that looks. And there's some other cool things in here as well. Like I think there's like a setting spray, long wear setting spray. I think that's pretty cool. They also sent that they were gonna. They said that they were gonna send me some new lip products, like a new formula that's uh, releasing soon. Maybe that could be something fun to dig into as well. So I still have these. Uh, I want to do some kind of a drugstore hard candy kind of a video, but as you can see. I'm knee deep in Vlogmas and I have a lot of stuff to get through. So I have a couple of packages here, which you are gonna see, ooh, together with my sweatpants that I haven't been able to unpack. Let's start with the one on top. This is from Lethal Cosmetics. I did unpack and like look what it looks like, but I haven't been able to like use any of this. So this is the brush set from Lethal Cosmetics. Should we do a video? Ooh, this looks like a fun brush. I have not seen a shape like that in my collection before. Is it like highlighter? Is that what, what am I looking at? I don't know how I feel about the brush quality, if I'm gonna be a million percent honest. Let's see if I can open a, an eyeshadow brush. We will try this and see. We will try this and see. But it looks really cool. Let me just put it like that. But uh, I, I will say just touching them didn't give me the biggest of confidence. I do have the two new, whoo, uh, two new palettes here as well. So this one is the one that is called Metamorphosis Pressed Powder Palette. I think that this is the one that's like the reddish one. Yes. Ooh, it has a little bit of, you can see there's a little bit of powder that's been kicked around. Haven't done anything with this, literally picked this up from the kitchen before I started filming this. I mean, it looks really pretty. There is a, you can see there is like a duochrome or a multichrome going on here. It looks very pretty. This is definitely like a pinky peach to a yellowy gold. This seems to have like almost like a green shift to it. Maybe like a pink lime. I'm not 100% sure. Looks very interesting. This is definitely like a green plum. You can see the, the, the plum green. Yeah. You can see that, that is totally visible. It looks really pretty. I don't know exactly what we wanna do with this. Like, would you like to see a dedicated video? Do I have time for a dedicated video? Or like, what do we wanna do? I'm not 100% sure, but we'll figure it out somehow. And then we have the palette that's probably more like my style because I love color stories like this. And this is the one that's called um, evergreen that is what it's called and this one looks like this i think that this one uh, again you can see some of the duochrome action here this one looks just a little bit more like my type of color story and i really love that these two are next to each other because they're so contrasty and i love how they look next to each other i think that that would be such a cool look i really enjoy how this palette looks. I love this color right here. I do know that like some of these shades were either the exact same shades that have been in some palettes or very similar to some shades that have been in some palettes. And I will say looking at some of the mattes here, I do think that some of the mattes here are very similar to what we saw in the One Up palette. So we'll have a peek at that in the future as well. But yeah, that was the package from Lethal Cosmetics. I also got ooh, brushes. I also got a package from Dubious Place. And this is the new little nine pan palette. And I'm super excited about this one. This is the Fula palette. So this is what it looks like. It's like a smaller palette. And let me take this off. And I will say, just looking at the inside here, some of the names of these shadows are familiar and I cannot put my finger, because I haven't gone through my Dubious Place collection to see where they are from, but there is Berber, Fez, Tasa, Chef Shawen, Suba. These are shades from other palettes, right? Because I have heard these names from before. And I'm like, what palette are these from? What palette are these from? Are they new shades? Did they just re... Like, are the shades, old shades, put in a smaller... This is affordable palette. This is $10 for a nine pan. And if this is great quality, this is amazing. But I just recognize these names. Or did I just reuse the names? I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done full proper research. I just know that those names, I have definitely heard those names from Julius Place before. And then we have the Coffee Shop Collection. Uh, a lot of people were saying that this is very similar to the 
Not a Box of Chocolates palette by Colourpop. And I will say the biggest difference between the two palettes is that this one is a lot more matte and this one goes lighter and darker than uh, the uh, Colourpop palette. So this one has more contrast in it and it also has more mattes in it. Just from just initial impression of just trying that palette I think twice and just looking at this palette. So they're definitely similar in the sense that they're all brown palettes, but there are also a lot of differences between the palettes just looking at them. And in the bottom of the box is just all of the lip glosses and lip products from this collection. Doggo is here. Can I help you? Can anyone help you? Miss, what can we do for you? Do you want to come up? Is that it? Do you want to come up and show how beautiful you are? Thank you for everyone, by the way, who's been asking about Kaisa. She is fully healed. You can see she doesn't have the cone anymore. She ate all of her medication like a boss and she is all healed. Yes, she's all fine now. You're probably going to see some videos after this one where I'm talking about her still being in like a cone and stuff. But just know that those are pre-filmed. She's doing all fine. Yes, you're so beautiful. Mm, are we cuddling? I also got my first ever PR package from Lawless and I didn't really look into this more than I opened this and looked at this. And this is the, oh, it is the Forget to Fill a Limp, a Limp. Lip Plumping Smoothing Lip Gloss in Cherry Vanilla and it is the Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Cherry Vanilla. I have been dying to try this formula. Ooh, let me put this to the side. Look at how cute they made this. Yes, aren't you agreeing, Kaisa? Oh, shut the front door. Shut the front door. Are you kidding me? A absolutely yes. Instant yes. Do you agree? Do you agree? So this is what they look like. Oh, the entire world just turned very pretty. Oh, oh that smells like artificial cherry ice cream and I'm not mad. Love the color. Love the scent. Okay, I am all about this life. Oh, and look at that color. Oh, wow. I'm impressed and I'm loving these sunglasses. See? Okay, I'm super excited to be trying that out. Very excited about that. The dog is down here. Do you want to be down there, sweetie? Because you're kind of in the way. But, I mean, you're never in the way, sweetie, but maybe you're a little bit in the way. I was not kidding around when I said that it is a lot of Colourpop. I have a full basket dedicated only to Colourpop. I am on the Colourpop PR list. They did give me a code. I'll put all my codes and all the info down below. And I have been using a fair amount of these. I never got around to the Target collection. I think the main reason is that they sent me two of the more neutral palettes. Well, one of them is a pinky purple palette, but it's still fairly neutral if we're gonna be honest. And then it's this neutral palette. So I think I'm just gonna be saving those and maybe giving it to someone else. I also have some Super Shocks and uh, yeah, Super Shocks. And I have the gloss that was on Target. I will link down below this whole Target collection because honestly, I thought, and I've seen it in real life, they have other things as well. They didn't send me all of it. I will say that I think that this Target collection, honestly, is a really, really cute collection. And I think that they did really good. Oh, it's this one as well. The Minty Fresh Peppermint Lip Duo. Wait, I am definitely keeping this one. Like I said, I love a minty, a minty thing. And there are some like lippies and liners. I think this is all very cute. And like I said, I will link it down below. I just didn't get around to this uh, set. Oh my God, I have more. There's more. <gasps> the Target set. Something that I did get around to and that I did actually do a video on is the Muppets collection. I do have a video where I am doing a look, two looks, and swatching all of these products if you are interested in the Muppets collection. Honestly thought that this was a really cool palette and I also did do another look with this palette and that is coming next week in a Get Ready With Me where I'm using this palette once again because yeah, I really did like that collection. I do have the full collection here. I also have the full collection of the Control Alt Glam. This is the Colourpop and Mariale collection and I was actually very impressed by how this palette performed on the eyes. In middle of the look, I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know where this is going. But then I was like, no, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful palette. I'm very impressed by the color selection. And I'm very impressed that they were able to do a palette that I cannot at least initially think of a Colourpop palette that looks like this. And that in of itself is like an achievement when it comes to Colourpop. So I do have a get ready with me when I'm using this one and I will link it down below. I also got this, oh my, I also got this collection that was like, 
This was like the collection that was matching the hair color. So I have uh, eyeliners and I have all of the quads here. And uh, as you can tell, I didn't get to this collection either. Not all of these quads look amazing. I feel like the ones that look the best, I did show you these in my vlog. I do have a vlog channel in case you're interested in some chill vlogs. Is this purpley one, which is called Violet It Be. This one is very cute. I also really did enjoy how the blue one looked because I feel like this one has a lot of contrast as well. And this is called Tidal Wave. And it looks like this. And this is actually a like a, almost like a turquoise green topper shade. I can see that it has like a, like one of those, you know, duochrome toppers. It looks very pretty. I think that this one also looks really nice. I'm, I, you can tell. Colourpop overwhelms me. I also did get sent this one and this is the full vault, like the holiday vault. And this is a vault that you buy and you cannot buy these palettes separately. So they have this neutral one, Island Vacay. We'll say this green looks really intriguing. This one is called New Money. And I do wish that they had this one as a separate one because it has turquoises. It has some warmer ones, some more like neutral, almost neutrally true greens. And like, it's a very interesting palette that goes from light to dark in a lot of interesting undertones. And I, this one looks really pretty. They also have one that's called Pink Drink. It's very mid-tone. Then they have one that's extra coin. It's a cool tone neutral palette. And then they have one that's called Sunny Days, which is very mid-tone. I mean, I don't mind the colors in here, but it's not as exciting as the green one and this one that is called Sweet Vibes. Same here. It goes from pretty light to pretty dark and has both warm tones and cool tones and it's like a purpley blue and this one looks so incredible this is the blue smoothie it's like a pastel sky blue with like violet violet like shimmer specks in it it's really really cool so this one i also really like so if you have a friend that only likes neutrals and you can snag the two colorful palettes i would recommend it but other than that it's just a very big vault with a lot of stuff in it and it's a little overwhelming Let's not pretend that it isn't. I also got a package from Verst and same here. I haven't been able to dig into this package yet, but they did send me a couple of things. I think Verst is a very affordable skincare brand that is sold at Target, right? And I am very intrigued to be trying this out, especially this one that is called the cleansing balm because I'm all about finding affordable cleansing balms because I think that double cleansing is like the answer to all your problems if you're wearing a lot of makeup. It is the Rich Moisture Cream. It is the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. It has some AHAs in it. Okay, so it's like an exfoliating lotion. And then it is the vacation eyes brightening eye gel and this is also very very intriguing let's open this one up and see what it looks like okay so this is a vitamin c and ginseng root extract made for dullness gently tap teeny tiny dot around the eyes okay 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 sounds intriguing i'm always up for trying another eye cream but yeah it's i usually am very good at getting through pr but not in November, December. <laughs> Busy. I have some more skincare that I have been getting. This one is from Good Molecules. This is a Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. Oh, loving the tube. Looks like this. Definitely will be trying that one out as well. Just have not gotten to it yet. I also got some from Pixie, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid Peptides and Collagen series. So collagen tonic and this is just a small collagen tonic and i think i got some lip things as well i oh there's also an eye serum and a lip it's basically their collagen series i will say topical collagen doesn't really do much overall collagen is it's it's, it's debatable it's debatable but i will say i do really like pixie skincare and it has peptides in it so that could be worth something. I also got this from Bubble and this is the Overnight Hydrating Sleep Mask. Bubble is also an affordable skincare brand and this one is sold at Ulta now. So you can find Bubble at Ulta and this, I love the packaging of Bubble. It's just very colorful, very fun. It is a, I don't want to say basic, but it's more of a, a effortless, no fuss, 
skincare brand that I would definitely recommend if you're into something you don't want to you just want to have the, the basic routine uh, at a fairly affordable price without any added perfume that's what this brand is and then last but not least I got a package from skin store I did work with skin store before not working with them right now this is just a PR package I think my code might still be viable on the site though i'll put that down below it's not a f an affiliated code it's just a code to save you some money they do have a lot of really good brands and they do have lumene which is a finnish brand and if you didn't know i'm from sweden so this is the arctic berry oil cocktail i've actually used quite a lot of lumene when i was living in sweden and it is the nordic sea glow renew uh, night serum renew glow in seven nights so this is just some skincare products from lumene i actually do really like lumene i think that they are a really good skincare brand and then it is the I haven't even opened this one, but this is exciting. This is Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Lift and Firm Day Cream SPF 15 PA++. So it's a day cream with ceramides, and I do love ceramides. Visibly firm tone and hydrate skin. Listen, I might need that. I'm about to turn 39. I might need some visibly tone and firm but yeah those are the things that was added into my collection let me clean this up a little bit and let's talk money the amount of money that i spent on beauty myself this month is this number here right here 427 dollars and, and a couple of cents but let's leave the cents out and i feel like that is not ideal <laughs> but i'm also not horribly ashamed of it i did buy a couple of stuff that were like a little bit more on the expensive side like this um serum right here i did get it I, a little off and of course i bought the uh, serum from uh, glow recipe those are things that I, it's more like things that i go through that i use more on the regular uh, the other things that I bought, I mean, I have made reviews on the Natasha Denona palette. It's not a horrible thing. The one that was more on the spontaneous side and I'm not making a dedicated review on is, of course, the uh, Color Drain one, which is probably also the most affordable thing I bought out of the things that I'm like the most affordable order here. I'm excited to be trying out the formula again, though, but it's not a perfect month for me. And I will say that in 2021, the amount of money that I spent on beauty was only $168. So it's definitely a lot more than last year, which is the quite the opposite of what I wanted to, to create here. But last year I bought two palettes from BH Cosmetics, one lip liner and a perfume. I mean, you can tell that this is not like a normal beauty month for me. I just was really buying the, the, the minimal, the minimal because I knew I was about to move. So I did actually look into the November of 2020, which is a Black Friday year that I was shopping more like normal. And the amount of money that I spent on beauty in 2020 in November was uh, 6,593 Swedish crowns, which amounts approximately to $634, which is again, quite a lot more than I spent this month. So I, I know for myself, like, yeah, I would love to have spent less than $100, but I didn't. And I am happy with the things that I bought. I didn't go crazy on Black Friday. I didn't overspend. I didn't make a million orders. I stayed pretty true to what I wanted. And the only spontaneous purchase I did was that order from Color Drain that at the end of the day was probably the one that I spent the least on. So I'm not trying to justify it, but I'm just trying to say it doesn't stress me out. And at the end of the day, that was the whole pur purpose of this. I didn't want to be stressed out by the things that I bought. And I also, as an added bonus, wanted to be able to save a little money. Did I save money? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Did I save money compared to last November? Yeah, I did. I spent $4,000 on moving my pets last year. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs to move pets? A lot of money. So I was definitely spending my money in other places instead last year. And this year I spent, what was it? 300 and 400 and something on, uh, 427 on beauty. I'm not horribly disappointed about that if I'm gonna be honest. And I will say <laughs> that the amount of money that I spent on beauty uh, in December of 2021 was about $30. And I've already spent that on beauty. So again, I'm gonna be comparing to <laughs> what I spent on beauty in December of 2020 next month as well. Because yeah, didn't really buy anything 
before I was moving and I think we can all understand why. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you bought during Black Friday. Did you do any purchases that you were really happy about? Stuff that you have been looking forward to? Did you make any steals? Did you make any spontaneous purchases that you are happy about like me? Or did you make any spontaneous purchases that you are not happy about? I'd love to hear about that as well. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Don't forget to check the description box for more info and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!